Hi Leos, it is the Sun Sage. Thank you so much for tuning in um, to another March love reading. So I'm going to check in with some March love energies to see what's going on for you guys, what could be coming in before we close out the month. This will be for those of you who are Leo, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising, and those of you who are cross watchers connected to a Leo, all right? Let's see what's going on. If you are interested in a personal reading, because this one may turn out to be too general for you, make sure you check out the details in the description box. All right, Leos, let's see what's going on for you guys in love or what's coming in. Let's get some main themes for you first. All right. So for Leos, what do we have? All right. Okay. So union, that's been coming out a lot. So a lot of relationships will be confirmed here. Sweet reminder. Um, and what else do we have for Leos? Let's see. Leos, what do we have? Lip locked. Okay. This feels like a fresh, fun energy for love to have coming in, um, or have going on right now. Some of you could feel very secure in your situation. Some of you are about to be more secure in your situation with somebody you're dealing with or somebody you're about to run into. So there's a sweet reminder here. Um, some I'm picking up someone misses someone's kisses. Okay. Um, Leo, someone is missing your kisses. You are missing theirs. This is mutual. Let's see what comes through in your tarot messages because I'm picking up that, um, uh, yeah, let's just make sure. All right, I'm picking up that um, somebody was reminded of something, maybe a picture, maybe, um, like I was saying to them, um, I believe it was Gemini, an anniversary or a birthday is coming up or something. This person was reminded of their time with you very recently, or they will be, and that will cause them to start thinking of their times with you impassioned and physical and affectionate. Um, and so I feel like that will remind this person to reach out to you, remind this person to see you, something like that. Um, so someone is nostalgic here. Uh, I didn't like that, how that came out, but let's uh, see what's coming through for the tarot for Leos. All right. I have the six of pentacles. Somebody's ready to give you their all. Okay, a king of wands here. That could be you. That could be the person you're connected to. You could have a Leo that you're dealing with or even another fire sign, Aries Sag. What's going on for Leos in love? What's going on for Leos in love? What do we have? All right, we have the four of swords. You've been waiting. Um, what do we have for Leos in love? Uh, the nine of wands. Hmm. What do we have for Leos in love? I feel like somebody is about to is anticipating some resistance. Um, and I have the five of wands. Okay, yeah, ten of wands. So as good as you guys are feeling about someone, you may feel like this person needs to suffer a little bit more, right? Um, there's something coming through here with this nine of wands, five of wands. Uh, that they that they kept you waiting, and so now you're about to um you're about to do the most, right? The nine of wands, the five of wands. This is Leo fire energy. This is drama. So you guys, um, look, you may want to be with this person, right? But the strongest energy coming through is that this is someone who you have been waiting on. This is someone who has um, been procrastinating, it feels like. And now I feel like they're coming in, um, Maybe, you know, showing up a little more for you or wanting to offer something. Um, I want to see why this is here, but it feels like you're going to make them wait now. What is the six of pentacles? It's the world. Okay. This looks like someone who wants to give you the world, someone who wants to give you everything, right? Or at least what they, what is everything to them. Okay. So you're dealing with somebody who is coming out of hibernation, possibly someone who you felt things were over with, or you guys closed things out um, recently. And the Ace of Cups is a new beginning for this love. Okay. This person does feel like they're the ones coming back, making this offer. The world here is that you feel like, yeah, the four swords you feel like you were kept waiting you feel like this person is somebody that you've had to heal from recently right um they put you through some things and so now you know while you have been waiting for this opportunity and this offer you may not even immediately accept it okay not to say you'll completely flat out reject it and keep that going but i do feel like a lot of you have started to get into the healing energies um of protecting yourself and your heart and so it feels like you're going to continue that 
even if this person shows up, right? King of Wands here. Um, I feel like they do want to make an offer to you. Some of you are here. Eight of Cups. I don't want it anymore. They're rushing in. They're saying something, su something sweet. They're doing something good, but Eight of Cups. You know, I feel like some of you will be playing hard to get. Let's see why this Eight of Cups is here. <laughs> the King of Pentacles, right? Um... Here's where you're at. This person is coming in. This person is making a big offer. Some of you are going to make them make a bigger offer. Something they offer won't be good enough for you, right? Because of that weight that they had you in, because of that, uh, ch those, those uh, challenges that you, I feel like they put you through, some of you are going to make this person chase after you, come after you. Um, you may have somebody who's not interested in doing all of that. King of Pentacles, right? This is somebody who's like, look, either it's mutual or it's not. Um, either we're both giving or, you know, we could just leave this alone. But I do feel like you have someone who feels like they may have stepped away and kept you waiting so they could be this. So that, because we do have the world, right? You may have been thinking that this person was doing something crazy, doing something that betrayed this connection, doing something that they told you they weren't going, going to do. Something tells me you got somebody here who was healing, who's had a big change or transformation in their life. They're more mature. They're different. While they may have come back in the past like this for passion, um, for physical, it feels like they have something else to offer, right? And if you turn your back on them now, you could miss out on it. Scorpio showing up, Taurus here, also Capricorn Virgo. Um, but I do feel like this person was going through a rebirth, right? They were becoming a different person. They reinvented themselves. They are someone who is going to be a little different from the way you last encountered them. Um, so the four of swords here, right? Confirming that healing energy that we see here with the four of swords, right? Someone laying down, someone possibly having a hard time coping with the separation or with their person not being close to them, but starting to come to terms and heal with this uh, separation. So some of you have gotten used to being alone. That's what that four of swords is saying to me. Some of you have gotten used to, yeah, you're strong now, right? Or you've been strong and you've had to be strong throughout this process, right? You thought you guys were moving forward sooner. It didn't happen. You had to be a little more patient here, especially dealing with this person. You may be a little frustrated when they come back and not ready to receive that offer. Even though it feels like it's something that looks wonderful, it's an offer of abundance, it's an offer of union and exclusivity, some of you have some tough questions for this person first, right? Why is this nine of wands here? Leo, that's you showing up with strength too. With that four of swords, you had to find yourself. You had to uh, remind yourself who you were. Yep, page of wands, they're coming in. And some of you may be, you know, blocking this communication. Some of you may give this person a hard time here. Um, you want to see them squirm a little bit. Five of swords. You want to see them take responsibility and accountability for the way you feel like they left you out, for, for the way you feel like they sort of did you dirty for some of you, right? So you want to see this person. Yeah, you want to communicate with them. Page of Wands, you got some choice words for them. But you also want to make sure that they understand that doing this only creates drama and conflict between you. And if they did want this with you, then they may not have done it in this way, right? So the Five of Wands feel Feels like you will have somewhat of a confrontation here. You feel very confrontational, Leos. Um, yeah, Tower, very. <laughs> okay, King of Wands, confirmed. That's you feeling very confrontational here. Um, fire energy. Why is the Tower here? Also, Scorpio. Nine of Pentacles. Exactly. They're going to have something to say. They are going to reach out. They are going to send a short message. You are going to, I don't feel like you're playing hard to get. I think some of you are truly in an independent space where um, because you had to go so long without this person, some of you may not even want them anymore. Some of you may not want them right now. Some of you may have to teach them a hard lesson, nine of pentacles, that you're not codependent on them, right? But if they need to, you know, go through something in life, can they communicate that next time around? Because the nine of pentacles, nine of wands feels like a fed up energy, right? It feels like I don't need you. 
All right. I'm thriving and doing well. I do feel like this person wants to come in and contribute to your life. I feel like they want to come in and show you what they have to offer. I also feel like, you know, they may have stepped away in a way that wasn't very, um, that didn't feel very loving or very like they cared about you. What is, uh, what are the messages coming through? I took advantage. We saw that five of swords, this person, some of them may say this, some of them may take accountability for their behavior and go, I'm sorry. I knew you were going to stay here. I knew you were strong um, in this commitment with me. I knew you wanted me. I knew you wanted to be with me. Um, I know you're independent, you know, and you can, you know, you didn't really need anything from me. So I took that and I, I, you know, I left. I did have to work on myself. This isn't shady business. I wasn't dealing with other people, but I didn't think I would be missed, right? They're going to say something like that. Um, so they're going to say they took advantage of a moment um, for sure. Uh, I do feel apology. I can feel you pulling away. Exactly. That nine of wands, this nine of pentacles is you. All right, um, Leos, let me just hold it up. This is how this person is coming in, coming into the situation with you feeling and looking like this, feeling very strong and very resistant, um, feeling very independent, right? Independent, strong energy here. And so I feel like they have some explaining to do. They can feel you pulling away because you're not giving anything to them right now. You're not talking to them. You're not invested in them. And they're going to have to prove to you now you are my future, that this is what they want with you. And they're going to have to go through a lot more hurdles now or, or or soon than they had to before because they put you through too much. So now you guys are like, nope, I'm fully healed or I'm healing. As soon as I get back on my feet, as soon as I get back right in a better space, I promise when you come back around, I'm going to make you suffer. Okay. All right, Leo. So that is what I have for you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. And if you are interested in a personal reading with me, check out the details in the description box.